Hello guys and welcome back to the channel where this is certainly a video that I wasn't expecting to make but however it's been playing on the back of my mind for several months and it's all about the fairness of the global platform that videos like mine are put out on so you can enjoy it from home, work, wherever you are. Now it's about the unfairness of that platform to people like myself and other people that spend a lot of time making videos only to be told that it is unsuitable for most advertisers and what they mean by that is it contains what they're saying is graphic content. Now I go out of my way not to uh, put graphic content on there however sometimes you will see a bit of the red stuff that flows through the veins I'm not going to use the B word uh, and what I tend to do now is if there is a lot of red stuff I will change the picture from colour to black and white so you don't see it. That was a tip I was given by Robin from Team Foxer who has been very kind and spent many hours talking to me um, about three years ago when I decided to start making YouTube films. Uh, I've done the same for other people now when they ask questions I try to help them as Robin did for me. So what, what do the global platform consider as unsuitable? Well graphic images, uh, lots of the colour red uh, and I know that that is the problem. Uh, I made a video with some rat shooting and it was blocked straight away, deemed unsuitable for monetization. Now let's get the monetization bit out of the way straight away. I don't make a fortune and what I will do down the corner here, I will put a series of uh, photographs, screenshots of videos. You can see how many views they've had and you can see the thousands of pounds that I haven't earned from it. Right, so the global platform uh, systematically now block all of my videos and I then have to go through a seven day request for a review. And they're saying it's a manual review, but you can bet your bottom dollar, there is probably tens of millions of videos being uploaded every week. There's not gonna be a person sat in an office under a set of stairs reviewing each video. Of course there isn't. So they're saying it's a manual review. It's about as manual as a box of biscuits. Let's leave it there. Right, so they're saying that my videos, or the majority of my videos, are deemed unsuitable for most advertisers. Right, I've just got over 4,000 subscribers, and I think looking at the, the, the home page of my channel, it's about 650,000 views. Okay, so not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. I didn't expect to be uh, where I am today after three years. However, in the United States, there is a person that has a channel, same as mine, shooting stuff with air rifles. Um, I'm just going to check my notes. He has done 188 videos. He's got 237,000 subscribers. And in the time that he's been doing YouTube, he has had 29 million views. The majority of which are described as suitable for most advertisers. Now what I'm going to do is put some clips of the video which does contain adverts and therefore it is lining not only his pocket but also the pocket of the global media company that you're watching this video on. So they're both making a few bucks out of this because his video is suitable. So I'm going to play the video now and you can see that in their eyes having four 4K ultra slow motion cameras showing the heads of animals exploding and I mean exploding several times in slow motion on a video is deemed acceptable whereas I could have one squirrel that gets shot cleanly, drops to the floor, dances around a bit on the floor and they're saying no that's not acceptable you are not going to have adverts on your video and therefore you're not going to earn £4.50 and that's about it. So I'm putting, whilst this video is going on, I'm putting screenshots of videos and you can see and it's perfectly transparent. I don't make a lot of money out of this and I said this the other day when I asked people to send me some footage in. So let's get it out in the open as honest as possible. You can see now that I'm not driving around in a Bentley or a Porsche. Um, and I don't even cover the cost of my fuel. 
or bullets or anything else. Uh, I do this purely as a hobby and getting a few quid at the end of the month is a bonus. So I hope that this video has been interesting and uh, you've appreciated what I'm trying to get across. I know the other week there's a gentleman from Wales that has thrown a towel in. I'm not throwing a towel in. At the moment there is a video that I have uh, produced and it contains 50 shots from individuals that have sent footage into me because I asked for that before I went in the hospital. So I've compiled that into a video of 50 shots for you as the viewer to choose what you think is the best shot. And then that person who has made that shot stands to win a very, very nice day night scope by Height Micro that I'm going to give as a prize. So once again, the global media company have said no, that video is totally unsuitable and therefore you will not receive any money from the advert. So that's another four pound that I've lost. So thank you very much. I'm sorry that you've had to sit and listen to me griping and whinging, but there's no point keeping it in. And I know it really upsets a lot of other people, but there are people here in the UK that put the same footage out, exactly the same footage out as me, and they'll get tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of views, and yet they're deemed suitable. Once again, because the global company and the video producer are all getting a few quid out of it. When you look at what I'm getting, and what they are getting, it's not worth the risk. So let's just block them. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, please comment below. I would love to hear your views because it is getting almost to that point now where I'm thinking, what is the point of going out, pressing that button? Because you don't go out every single night and see something to shoot. And, and people will tell you this. You could go out seven times out of ten and not see anything. But you still go through the process of filming stuff edited it so that could take another four or five hours for nothing.